Now do I have a story for you. This is the tale of my exclusive interview with the author of The Giraffe, The Pelly and What the Fuck Is That? Last Saturday, that's right, Christmas Day, I had the unbearable privilege of sitting down with the author of one of the most famous rip-off books of all time. Somersault Curry, an infamous con merchant and exotic dancer, often plagiarises their work, but people still buy their stuff because it slaps harder than Roald Dahl leaving his cancer-suffering wife. For some unknown reason, Somersault Curry will only do interviews on major holidays when it can be most disruptive for journalists. They have 68 interviews today, so I only got to ask one question before I got moved along. When I entered the small two-bedroom bungalow, the first thing I noticed is the hallway. It's what you would notice entering most houses. Beyond that, it's pretty much room after room of similar design spaces. A lounge, a kitchen, a washer room, a fancy downstairs bathroom, mid-sized garden and stairs that I'm not allowed up. Now the scene has been set for you. I'm ushered into a small waiting room on the left wing's art gallery. There are at least 50 other journalists there as well, with only three or four sitting on someone's lap. There were plenty of chairs to go around, so I really didn't understand why they'd need to do that. I take residence on a slim frame wooden s journalist from the Sunday Times, who is himself sitting on a chair. I get no pushback from this. I take a moment to think about the list of questions that I had prepared to ask this divisive author. I remember that I'd left my notebook in my other journalist. Exasperated, I strained to think what my question could be. And then it came to me. What the fuck is it? I've read the book, as have we all, and it's never actually explained what the fuck it is. I smile smugly, knowing that this is the question all readers will want to know. I peer over my peers' notebook edge to see what they're asking. What's your favourite curry? How do you intend to dodge these fresh copyright claims? Are the French overstaying their welcome in the Gulf? Standard journalistic rubbish. My name is called. Gleefully, I walk past people who've been here way before me. I imagine it's because I wouldn't stop screaming. I enter the small study. Leather seats, thick lush carpet and a glorious oak desk. Fit for a king are what greets me, which is weird because I've never heard furniture talk before. This is real opulent wealth before me. Crouched down, upside down in the rafters, is Somersault Curry. Hello, I said. My career has been leading up to this moment. Please, can I take a seat? No. Next, the usher bellowed. I'm quickly escorted through a side door and through what seems to be a multi-storey car park but empty, I get outside. Was it raining blood before? I can't remember. I go home and I eat Christmas dinner. And there we have it folks, the answer to the question we all wanted to know. Can I sit down? And the answer is no.